Hi, my name is Captain Jen, uh, Jennifer Kay with the Schooner Woodwind Sailing Cruises. I have a feeling that you guys are going to be the winning team, right? Oh, yeah. 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 All right, awesome. Let's do it. I've been working for Woodwind for seven years now, and I've been, but I've been sailing since I've been six. So, the team building we've been doing all seven years since I've been here, and been teaching since college, which was just a couple years ago. <laughs> so right now, as we're heading out in the direction, the wind is coming over to the left side, over the port side of the boat. We're on port tack. Sailing, I think, is a great team building experience because you get people out on a boat that have no idea how to sail a boat. And then on Woodwind, there's enough room for 25 people where there's jobs for everybody to do. All right, ready? One, two, pull! pull. One, two, pull! One, two, pull! After we get all the sails up, we teach everyone Sailing 101, so they all have the common core. Then we split them up into four separate groups for specific training. Two of those groups learn how to make 1,800 square feet of sail area propel the boat. The third team learns navigation to figure out where the boat is, where it needs to go, and how to communicate that to the fourth team, which is the leadership slash captain team. This team gives the command to the sail trimmers to effectively get around the course in the fastest way possible. Channel marker. There's a channel marker up there. Can you see the channel marker? No. Okay, what does it look oh, like? Left, left, on your left. It almost looks like a it's like a little okay, triangular. Yes, I see it. Yeah, I see it. Okay, great. So the more you can paint a picture, okay. the yeah. more easier gotcha. he knows what to look for. It's perfect. <laughs> awesome. This is kind of unique. This is a cool opportunity for us. We only all get together maybe uh, once every four months. So. I usually spend my day alone in the office because everyone's running around getting things. So it's nice to be able to come out with fellow managers and build some teamwork and do something that you're not used to getting out of your comfort zone. This is my absolute first time sailing, which you can probably tell when everybody tells me what to do each time we do it. But I think I'm picking it up and we're definitely going to win that race today. For the perfect group size on the woodlands, you would want to do anywhere between seven people on one boat okay. to up to 25 people on each boat. So we can take seven to 50, and if you need to expand that, we can also get a spectator boat out here to go and watch the racing happen. So one of the things that these guys are learning right here is that you don't lead by following. Right? So if the other boat's in the lead, you gotta try something different. And that's the same thing in business. And then you go to the five, right? 115, what's our course, Captain? Uh, we are at 110. Give me a direction right, of the wind, guys. We're darn close. <laughs> so we need someone in like the middle we that's gonna catch be able up. to. Because if we're going into the wind, our voices are gonna be muffled. So yeah. someone's gotta relay the message going up. Sometimes they learn that they need to speak up when they actually know something instead of wait and hold it back. So there's all kinds of things that people can use this for. Are we close hold? Prepare to close hold, starboard! Definitely some things I could bring back to life. Definitely a communication was big. Uh, everyone being on the same page as far as what was going on, what maneuvers we were trying to make where we were headed. Definitely that was big. I mean, without us, everyone being on the same page, the boat wouldn't go where it needed to go as fast as it could have went. So teamwork and communication was definitely a big, uh, big key today. We offer three different types of team building. One is our team fun, where they watch how a sailing team operates, makes decisions while learning about the key elements of sailing. Our team challenge is where a team would take those skills and be tasked with successfully sailing around a course. And then the ultimate team challenge is when both woodwinds are booked to add in competition and pressure since two teams learn simultaneously on each boat and then put it to the test in a race. Believe me, the boat that works better as a team is the boat that's gonna finish first. The team building on sailing is great because they get to be outside, work together, and then come up with new little tactics they can do in their office, whether it's confirming that they got an email, something as simple as that. You have to have concise communication on a boat to get your point across. And think about it, you need to get your point across in business. Bring your team right here to historic downtown Annapolis, America's sailing capital, and let us show you how sailing can improve your team. <laughs>